AGD and I are both enjoyers of Cherry Audio synthesizers, so to celebrate the Mercury 6, we decided to make a little challenge. Both of us had to do a song using only the Mercury 6. That means that the drums, the bass, the lead, anything that I want to do has to be done with this new synthesizer. In this video, I will show you my song, how I made it, and at the end, AGD will react to it. Hello Alex, uh, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here in your channel. Thank you to inviting me. I'm very, very happy. I'm Edge Dagros. And of course, if you want to see my reaction to his song, go and check his video. Link is going to be in the description. So let's go. What I wanted to do first was to make the drums. Because as I usually do drums with something like Faceplant or Vital or but not doing them with an analog emulation was going to be a little bit harder. But surprisingly, Mercury 6 is really versatile, so it wasn't too hard to make. For example, here's the kick. And the way I did it is by simply modulating the pitch to give that punchy kick kind of sound. But I wanted to add a little bit of texture and some more mid-range to high range in the kick to make it cut through. So I used the layer mode and the second layer sounds like this. Finally, I'm using distortion in both layers to give the sound that I wanted. Working with layers is amazing, it shows how amazing it is right here on the snare. One layer is the snappy hit, and the other is more of the release. What I'm doing is basically the same as the kick, using a pitch envelope so I get the punchy sound, and I added VCO2 as a noise, the same with the other layer, because of course snares are more noisy and have a lot of high information. I even added a little bit of chorus on that release part to make it wider, and in both parts I added reverb. Now the thing that I enjoyed the most was making this crash symbol because these are really difficult to make and I think it turned out really nicely. The way you get that kind of sound is by using frequency modulation. I added some effects to make it wider and the other layer is pure noise. Also with a lot of effects. Combine those two sounds together and you get that symbol. I'm going to skip these other sounds and go directly to the bass. It's a classic 80 chopper bass and there's not much to it. A couple of saw waves with a pulse. Of course, I always cut a bit of the lows and I added the sub as a separate track. Then, on the second half of the song, I added this other layer to the bass to give a lot more of movement. And it's a really dirty and detuned kind of sound, and I love it. Then we have a bass for a more quiet part. Again, it's really simple. And to give it movement, I'm automating the cutoff point and also the resonance. And by the way, I really like how this filter sounds. Then we have some layers of synths. For example, this is more like a solo to make a melody. I added vibrato with the default, and I'm even syncing one VCO to the other to give it a nice vibe, a nice sound, and I cut a little bit of the high frequency so it doesn't become too harsh. Then we go a nice arpeggio to add even more textures to this part. And then the same arpeggio, I duplicated it and added a lot of noise, so I get this kind of riser that goes to the drop.
Finally, on the drop, I added another layer to make it even fuller, more dense, and with a lot more of movement. Here I'm high passing, so the bass of the song are made only well with the bass, and I'm adding a little bit of drift and detuning to the sounds to make it even more rich. I added a little bit of ear candy with some stuff, for example here I have some kind of keys. I even have a little bit of these cheesy old toms. And finally I got a simple razor. And by the way, I added a second kick on the drop, so it hits harder because I felt I was losing it. Just in case I'm not doing anything with this, I'm just using it for soft clipping. And now I leave you to listen to it with ADD and see his reaction. I hope he enjoy it and I hope you do too. And now I go to react to your track with, made only with uh, Mercury 6. I'm very curious. So I put the, the headphones and I start with the track. Wow, good drop. Read. Interesting melody. I love this sound. It's simply. Yeah. This read move I love the drum, the drum sound Effect very interesting in the rhythm section. Mercury 6 is very, very punch synthesizer. Wow! I love very much. Wow, Alex, very, very good track. I love it. I love it very, very much. You have uh, uh, used uh, uh, most uh, sound that uh, I love. So <laughs> uh, it's very, very good, this uh, uh, track. Thank you to inviting me and uh, hope you can uh, discover uh, also my channel. And thank you very, very much for, for this interesting um, experiment that we have made with uh, our channel. Thank you, Alex. Okay, so thank you so much to AGD for being part of this collaboration. Go to his channel to see me react to his song. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.